I'm off to Portugal, the world leaders in cork production. So, we've just arrived in Lisbon. I thought cork's obviously just for bottles, but you got cork flip-flops. Cork everywhere. Cork, cork, cork. Even got a cork handbag. From Lisbon, we head east to the Corklands of Corouche, where the cork oaks have been harvested in the traditional way for centuries. Hi there, I'm Jim. Hello, Jim. I'm Conceição. Conceição Santos Silva is a forest engineer and helps landowners manage the forest. So the harvest is in full swing. It's happening right now. Yes. It's summer, and now the bark on the cork oak is at its most tender and easy to remove. Well, look at that. So it's coming off now. It's just it peeling it like a banana. Look at that. It's amazing. That is incredible. Can I take that? Can I have a look? Yes. Thank you. Well, that is a first for me. That is one sheet of cork. Yes. It's not easy taking the bark of a tree, and they're taking huge chunks of it. How do they do it? When you touch the tree with the axe, you must know the thickness of the cork so that you could not harm the trunk. Because yeah. every time that you harm the trunk, you make a, a wound. It's like our skin. Yeah. Now, and that wound may be a, a point of entrance of diseases. I want to meet the tiradors, cork strippers to you and me, and they're going to teach me how to chop the bark from their national tree. No pressure, then. Hi, I'm Jim. Hola, this is Geronimo. Nice to meet you, Mr. Geronimo. Can I have a go with your axe? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> look at that. I mean, this looks like something a Viking would have. <laughs> this is pretty nerve-wracking. So wh where shall I make the first cup? Well, tell me, where? This tree is 200 years old. How do you keep it in a straight line? Many years of practice. There you go. Him laughing. <laughs> no, off. I've just basically turned it to matchsticks. A small bit of bark is peeled off and no lasting damage to the tree. But I'm not sure how many wine corks they'll get out of it. That is incredibly hard work and also <laughs> super skilled. These are like surgeons. And how often can you harvest this cork then? Every nine years. Wow, so every cork takes at least nine years to grow. So why doesn't this tree die when you've taken the entire bark off all the way around it? Cork is a renewable tissue. You take off the cork, and then within one month, you'll start producing new cells of cork. So it's like the tree has had its clothes taken off? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's an incredibly sustainable product. Hi there. Good morning. I'm Jim, nice to meet you. Hello, Jesus. Nice meeting you. Welcome to Amarim. Wow, look at this. It's like a cork cave. It is our bat cave. Batman here, also known as Carlos de Jesus, is on hand to give me a flying tour. Last time I saw the cork, it was taken off the trees and it was all curly and different shapes. Now it's all uniformed in planks. What's happened to it? Well, they have been processed and they have to be boiled. Doesn't that make it go all soft and it'll rot, rot away? You try to break that, baby. Boiling the cork cleans it and it makes it easier to flatten for the next step. So these guys are boring out the cork. How does the process work? Well, the machine is operated by a pedal. And they just literally stamp it out. There you go. So this can go to a bottle of wine that will cost hundreds. So this cork here is tip-top. Absolutely. 